two sets of chromosomes containing HLA genes. Unfortunately, there's only a one in 200 chance that parents and their children will be perfect histocompatible HLA matches. What about Jesse? I'm afraid not. It's possible that a donor will crop up on the National Bone Marrow Registry. I thought you said uh, getting a transplant from an unrelated donor was dangerous. I did, but Kate's situation is time sensitive and sometimes that's all we've got. I'd like to suggest something completely off the record. Many times one sibling isn't a match, but another is. Have you considered having another child? Not to be forward, but umbilical blood can be an incredibly effective tool in treating leukemic patients. It's like a miracle. Well, how would you know that the new child would be a match? We could make sure of it. In a test tube? Yes, with pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, it would be a 100% match. A donor child. It's not for everybody. And legally, I can't even officially recommend it. But like I said, cord blood would be invaluable. Well, we gotta do it. We gotta try.